What's up? I'm going to be going over the easiest way that I found to get DS ROM patches onto the Retroid Pocket 2. And then I'm going to test a few DS games. So let's get right into it. First, to patch DS ROMs, you'll have to find the patch that you want. For this one, it's going to be the D-pad patch for Phantom Hourglass. And I'll leave that linked in the description. Next, you have to go to this website. I'll also have it linked in the description. Then you select your ROM file. It'll load for a few seconds, and then you might have to select Force Calculate Checksum. The first time I did this, it didn't have me do that, but the next time I tried it, I did have to select that. After that's done, then you just need to select your patch, and it should automatically patch it. Next, you can just rename it to whatever you want so that you know that it's the patched version and put it on your Retroid Pocket too. So here it is working. It works pretty well. On the website that has the patch on it, it has all the controls. And actually with some games, you can basically just download the patch ROM already if you can find it such as some of the Pokemon ROM hacks. This one is Pokemon Mega Power, and you can just download this one and it's just straight up the game. I also have a video that I found of how to patch Game Boy ROMs if they're not already patched, linked in the description. Another one that I found that you can just straight up download and you don't have to patch at all is Star Fox Command. Now I'm just going to move on to the DS test. First up is just an extended look at the Phantom Hourglass with the D-pad mod. And for all these games, I'm using the Drastic emulator. It is a paid app. It's around $5 on the Google Play Store. But it has a lot of customization compared to the other ones that I've tried out. As for the Phantom Hourglass D-pad patch, it's totally playable. I've noticed barely any frame drops whatsoever. Next up is an extended look at Star Fox Command, the D-pad patch. With this patch, it kind of makes the frame rate drop just a bit too much for it to be playable for me. There are a few different versions with different control styles. The first one that is literally just the D-pad and shooting, you can't do boost or break or anything else. That one works the best from what I found, but it really only works in the first few levels. Once you get further than that, the frame rate just isn't good enough to be playable. This is Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, and it works really well. You don't need frame skip, but I accidentally had it on in here, but it definitely plays fine without it. You just have to leave everything on normal settings. This one is Pokemon Soul Silver, and there's no problems here. It runs perfectly fine.
Now is Mega Man ZX, and from what I've played so far, this one works perfect. Here is Mario Kart DS, and I had to turn frame skip onto 1 for the frame rate to smooth out, but it still feels really good. Next up is SD Gundam G Generation DS. This is a turn-based strategy game. It's only in Japanese, so it's not really playable unless you can read Japanese, but it runs just fine.
And lastly is Super Mario 64 DS. You don't need frame skip for in game and you can turn some of the and you can turn some of the increased graphics on, but the menu doesn't work that well without frame skip and the graphics turned on. So I just played it at the regular resolution. That was how to get DS ROM patches onto the Retroid Pocket 2. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed or found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.